Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second part of my fall capsule wardrobe series. Series In the first one, I showed you like the core of my capsule and my clothes. In this one, I'm going to show you my accessories, a few outerwear pieces, and my shoes. Welcome to part two. So maybe we'll work from top down. In the spring and summer months, I really love wearing hats. Um, I also like to wear them in the fall, although I don't feel like I found like the perfect flat brim hat. I have one in, that I keep looking at that I might get, but we'll see. But I love baseball caps. This one is from a company called Filson. Just, I don't know, very athletic vibe. Um, but I love baseball caps, like with my hair down and then you throw on a baseball cap. And then this is just a really simple uh, gray one. I think I bought this like off of Amazon randomly last, maybe like two winters ago. But it's kind of like a nice felty material. It has a very fall winter vibe to it and it's gray, so it goes with a lot of things. So for eyewear, I'm still super into my Ray-Ban rounds. I still think these are quite adorable. Um, but I've resurrected my Ray-Ban Clubmasters. It just, Ray-Bans are classic to me. I love them and I've had these ones for a really long time. So I'm kind of like flip-flopping between these two. Fall wouldn't be complete without a scarf. I'm a huge fan of like these really big kind of blanket scarves. Um, I think they're awesome if I'm somewhere and it's cold outside and like let's say we're sitting outside still and like a patio or something like that because it's nice and it's sunny and it's fall but it's like still a little chilly. I can literally like bundle myself up in this thing. And the color of this scarf are like the main colors that I was really drawn to for fall which is like that camel type of color and then blacks. So this is a great way to bring the vibe that I liked in my fall capsule wardrobe Pinterest board that I was talking about in my previous video um, with, without like the huge investment. So it just gives me a little bit of that vibe um, in a simple scarf. I got this from Old Navy. I'm still super into the, the bandana trend and I love wearing these like actually in my hair um, and then the classic like around my neck. I think they're still super cute. I really, really like them. Um, I might get another one in a different color just because, I don't know, they're fun to have. And they're great ways to like jazz up a capsule wardrobe, especially because you tend to have a lot of neutrals and it's fun to bring in like maybe a pop of color or something like this that's very seasonal with like, again, not a huge investment in your wardrobe, but can create a lot of style and gives you that like aesthetic because a lot of times in your capsules you're going to have clothes that you pulled from like I have stuff from spring that is in my fall capsule and to make it a bit more fall like the accessories really help to play a role in that but I also have this really cool um this is called like a scarf ring I believe it's by a small jewelry company EM Jewelry in based out of Waco Texas which is pretty awesome but I think it's super cute I just love this little little touch of gold and it's just it's just like a different way to do it than um just the traditional tie you could also which i think can be kind of cool sometimes you can like wrap these around twice and then put it in and it kind of makes a okay my hair is crazy another cool way to do this is to wrap the scarf around twice if you have kind of this size scarf that i have and you can kind of make it a bit more of a uh, turtleneck vibe, which I think is kind of cool. I can't really see what I look like right now, but I've done this before and I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> what do I look like? All right, I'm going with this thing for the rest of the video because <laughs> I think it kind of looks cool. On to a few jewelry pieces. I have this kind of hoop necklace. Uh, it's not solid, but it's a uh, rigid hoop necklace that I got from my husband for Christmas, I think last year. It's by a company called Hello Bellene and I love it. It just adds like a really cool um, modern edge to any wardrobe that I think just looks really cool. It's just, it's different. I have not really seen anybody but one person who I saw and asked where she got it from because I thought it was cool <laughs> wear something like this before. And then I'm really into delicate jewelry still. Um, I think 
it's just so classy and feminine and beautiful and I like to layer them. Uh, this is my collaboration piece with Golden, my Be Fearlessly Authentic necklace and I still love this. I wear it very very often. I have a few other pieces from them and they are just incredible quality. Okay, sometimes when you get dainty uh, gold jewelry on the internet, you don't really know what it's like, but the chain can be sometimes a little clunky. You, like, you get it in person and you're like, okay, that's not like actually as dainty as I was expecting. What I really love about their jewelry is how incredibly dainty their gold chains are. Some of them can be very like, I don't know, they just feel less dainty if that makes any sense. These ones have like that perfect fine gold chain. This is a cool hair accessory that I got from Madewell. Um, and I think that it's just a very, again, like kind of has that modern vibe of this necklace and kind of this like round thing that I've got going on. But I think that it's really cool to wear with your hair half up and then you can kind of snap it in place and I think it looks really neat with like all your hair like in there still and you can kind of see it. I just think that it's pretty cool. So I didn't show you guys my outerwear in my fall capsule because my idea with outerwear and capsules this is going to vary for everybody but I live in Minnesota, Minneapolis area and it is cold yet sometimes it can be 90 degrees in fall. Our weather is unpredictable and the coat is usually the thing that like comes to my rescue when my capsule isn't maybe as warm as I need it to be during like the spring and fall months. So for me personally, I don't include my jackets in my capsule. I just know that there's probably going to be a couple that I'll grab because of their sheer like thickness and that they fit into the fall time of year. But if it's really, really cold one day and I need to bust out my parka, I'm gonna bust out my parka so it'll freeze. That's just kind of my idea with it and I think it has a lot to do with where I live. So that's gonna totally vary for you depending on where you live. I don't include my jackets because, I, for the reasons I just said, I guess. Um, but one of them is this trench coat. It's like a swing trench coat. It kind of has like a um, bell shape to it. Um, I like it because it's cropped. This is a petite, which I am small, and having a petite option in outerwear is awesome for me because a lot of times I have to get them altered to truly fit me. On to a staple in my life is this J. Crew field coat. I've, probably, I've had three of these in my life so far. I only own two now. I sold one. Um, they are awesome. I've had this since like 2010 maybe. I've had this thing for like over five years and they just wear incredibly well. There's like a little wear around the sleeves. This thing is a travel staple for me. I love, love bringing this traveling because it's lightweight, yet um, the kind of waxed vibe of it repels a little bit of rain and um, shields you a bit from the wind. So. Field coat, necessary. My favorite one is this olive green one. A khaki or whatever you call it. And then I've had this for ages. Like, I think I got this maybe in college, like maybe in high school, and for some reason I still really like it. And I think it's because I like the shape and I love these moto jackets, but I think I look like a bit of a dope <laughs> when I wear like the full leather vibed ones. I don't know, it just makes me feel like too badass and I am not that badass. So this I find is kind of a cool, more relaxed alternative to it. Although I really should get the sleeves hemmed on these because they are way, way too long. But it still fits me really well. And then this is a vest I picked up a couple of seasons ago and it is from a company called uh, United by Blue. And I put this in my outerwear because I generally wear this more as like a last minute need to layer up thing versus mm -hmm. styling this. This is kind of the cutest version of a vest I could find <laughs> because for me in my lifestyle, this like 
vest layer is really important it goes great underneath some of these thinner coats especially that field coat um when i need a little bit extra warmth because the weather is cooling off more than i thought or something like that all right on to pretty much the only handbag i've been using this fall which isn't technically a handbag but it is a backpack and it is a vegan leather backpack by a company called jw pay and this thing is awesome. I am now like fully converted to being a backpack lady and I absolutely love this thing. The quality is incredible. Um, sometimes with these, like with vegan leather, the color in this like traditional cognac can be a little off, a little too like red or a little bit too orange. And this thing literally just fits in with the rest of the existing items that I have that are leather and it just looks incredible. Quality is amazing, super soft, and it holds its shape super well. I actually just brought this on vacation um, and it was like my bag that I used when we went hiking and I threw a couple things in it because it's really lightweight and I just had to tuck these in <laughs> when we would hike because otherwise they like clink together every time. So. This thing, I am just in love with. Uh, the, the company uh, sent me this backpack, just as like a disclaimer. And, but they also offered a $20 off to all of my subscribers. So if you are interested in this backpack, I'll leave the links to as many things as I can in the description down below. Um, but I'll also include the link to this along with the coupon code. I think all we have left are shoes now. It's probably what you're all waiting for to watch. <laughs> Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of shoes for my fall capsule. The only kind of maybe summery type shoe I have in my fall capsule would be these. I got these over the summer and I just like, I'm not ready to like give them up <laughs> and stop wearing them. They're a mule, so they're very like on trend. They have that like rattan vibe. So it kind of has like a summer feel to it and then obviously the open toe versus you see a lot of mules for fall that are closed toe. These things are just really fun to wear maybe on a night out to dinner and it's a little bit warmer and I don't know I want a little heel or something. These are shoes I have had for many years now. Um, they're by a brand called Sam Edelman. I have three pairs of Sam Edelman shoes in my closet because they are awesome. I've, they last for forever. I've had them for forever, but they are leather. So um, I don't buy these shoes new. Um, these are, I'm not even sure what the kind of shoe this is, but it's a really dark, dark brown color. I would love to find something maybe similar to this, but in black to kind of round up my wardrobe in the black department because if you watched my video before this, you know that I've been looking to add a lot more black to my wardrobe come for the fall and winter months. Um, and I don't have a black shoe. I don't own, I own one black shoe, but it's like a high heel. So this is my other pair. Oh my God, they're so dirty. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to clean my shoes at the end of winter and I just put them away and I should be better at cleaning them before I put them away and taking care of them. These are from Sam Edelman. I found these secondhand at Buffalo Exchange and they are their putty boots or petty boots, I believe. And maybe this is the putty color. I have had probably three or four pairs of these type of boots and they are so comfortable to wear. This like small heel is perfect for me and just kind of absorbs some of that walking around that you do. Um, the only bummer to these is in the winter, there's like no traction on the bottom of them when the snow starts to fly. I can get, I can get a little slippery out there. <laughs> but I got these secondhand for like 20 or 30 bucks and they were still in very good condition. And then my last pair of Sam Edelman's are a new addition to my wardrobe. Like I said, I don't buy these new, but I found these secondhand on um, eBay. That's just like a personal preference. Um, and like as vegan, you don't buy any animal products and then, you know, rolls over into your wardrobe. Um, for me, I'm okay with buying it secondhand, but that might not be the choice for you. So that's okay. <laughs> like I said, I've, have, I've owned so many of these. They wear really well. I know what size I am. So when I saw a good deal on a used pair, I snagged them. Oh, my shoes really are dirty. <laughs> I don't think I clean these at all before putting them away. This is the highest heeled shoe that I got going in my capsule. 
Um, it is, I think I got these from Macy's probably like three years ago or something like that. They have held up incredibly well. They're really comfortable and they give me a little bit of height, um, especially when we're like out and about. Or like if we go to a bar or a restaurant or like a crowded thing. It gives me a few inches because I'm five feet tall and sometimes I just, I wanna be like somewhat eye level with people. <laughs> and then these vans are a pair that I've had again for a very long time as you can probably tell, but I love myself a little simple sneaker like this. I really into this kind of like canvas vibe. They're really comfortable and they keep, they give me like that casual vibe that I'm looking for in pretty much all of my wardrobe. All right, so that's it, we did it. You've now seen pretty much my entire wardrobe from top to bottom. Uh, if you haven't seen my first video, I will leave a link to it here, I believe it would be, yeah, here, or like down in the description below or at the end of this video. Um, so go take a look at that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe. I make um, a lot of like style, home interiors, DIY type of home renovation videos because we're renovating our basement coming to the end, which is so nice. Um, and then like uh, kind of like the natural beauty and like some vegan stuff out there. So if you're into that, love for you to subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That'd be cool too. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.